my topic is romantic love metaphors a competitive analysis of nirmal prabha bordelais poetry before starting the topic i would like to uh, let everyone know what is a metaphor uh, then what is a conceptual metaphor and who is nirmal prabha bordelais so metaphor in poetic uh, texts has been discussed from different perspective and the still dominant view of metaphor is that it is an ornament used by the poet now coming to conceptual metaphor conceptual metaphor theory treats the metaphor we use in a language as a reflection of the conceptual system we use to make sense of the world we live in and the conceptual metaphor theory has its foundation in the 1980 classic the metaphors we live by by george lukoff and mark johnson now coming to nirmal prabha bordelai nirmal prabha bordelai was an indian poet lyricist and folklorist associated with assamese literature she was the president of akham sahitya sabha in 1991 now uh, here i am stating uh, there are many uh, conceptual metaphors of love uh, in uh, like of and johnson 24 has been mentioned so first of all i would like to uh, draw your attention on love is madness or love is insanity so i have given the mapping here the sources and the targets uh so coming to nirmalpurha bodolis poetry i would like to relate few of our poets uh, to love is madness so we can we comprehend the abstract notion of love in terms of the conceptual metaphor love is madness which can be clearly seen in expressions like from the moment i saw you i went out of mind love made us lose our mind or something like that madness causes thinking and behavior that is considered out of the norm it may take different forms and does not form a monolithic whole there is great variation in the causes and symptoms of different mental afflictions the symptoms ascribed to love by the conceptual metaphor are unhealthy obsession severe mental disorientation impairments to decision making and a decreased ability to behave rationally so in uh, leonard cohen's poem had to go to crazy love uh, had uh, to go crazy to love you he mentioned had to go crazy to love you had to go down to the pit had to do time in the tar begging my crazy to quit so now coming to asmis ordinary language expressions uh, we can see that there are expressions like moy tar karne pagal which is in english translation i am crazy about him next moy premor karne jikunu kaam korilu hoy i would have done anything for love uh, mur uh, tai premor boliya she is madly in love and here we can see that love is madness can be seen among the modern assamese poets nirmala bordelai portrayed exceptional female character in her poetry by selecting female character from epics like ramayan and mahabharat uh, nirmala bordelai analyzed the feelings and emotions of women anew in her poem dropodi represents the entire section of women through the character of dropodi Bordelais gives a psychological analysis of women. A woman can feel emptiness despite living amid all material comforts and opulence, and that emptiness is the emptiness of love. A woman can imagine the existence of her lover in her heart even after marriage. There is no restriction there, but she has to suppress all these emotions and feelings and is compelled to live with the pang of physical desire. because she is the one who is imposed upon the responsibility to maintain social order and rit and rituals so if we draw a few lines from dropodi's poem uh, i translated the asmis poetry into english then we can see that there are lines like why do i to uh, look for karma why does the thirst arise when i am full of the neck of nectar this is a play of illusion psychology of a special level that sneaks Are the cheeks the steel heart of great love? So, in the following line from the poem Dropodi, the poet uses the extension of the conceptual metaphor. The poem clearly, uh, the poem clearly had the roots in her poet. Uh, uses the extension of the conceptual metaphor. Uh, her in uh, the poem clearly had the roots in her dissatisfaction, and they are intimately associated with the most private feelings. she brings out her unhappy feelings in terms of the saga of mahabharata the women persona is well contented with love and affection from the husbands and all these pictures were there in the mind's canvas 
Uh, according to Hindu mythology, it is highly believed that the Pandavas are the most eligible male figures. So she quizzes herself why does she look for another man when she have the uh, when she already have her Pandavas. In this extract, the protagonist uh, uh, Draupadi expresses her discontent about going crazy over the object of her love and not knowing what to do, while also proclaiming their emotional state as unhealthy. The image of thirst, play of illusion, is mapped under the image of abnormal state of love. Understanding uh, the target domain of love in terms of the source domain of madness would be meant to have the set of consequences. So this uh, source domain and the target domain uh, can be applicable here. So next, moving to love is sorrow. I have uh, like uh, I got another poem here. So we uh, comprehend the abstract notion of love in terms of the conceptual metaphor love is sorrow, which can be clearly seen in expressions like my heart's best treasure was no more. Sorrow is a state of being sad and frustrated because of the loss, misfortune, grief, etc. Love can be related to negative emotions as it not uh, always brings happiness and only positive moments in life. There are more cases when love turns into sorrow. Love without the answer, the lack of the beloved attends, attention, understanding, support. Finally, it can be related to the breakup or death which results in the end of love relationship. In Samuel Daniel's Delia 47 expresses the conceptual metaphor love is sorrow. Daniel des, uh, describes his lover who has presumably spawned his offenses. The poet burns in torment and pain. Still, though he cannot help out but worship her, such is his love. The conceptual metaphor love is sorrow underlies in the ordinary language expression in Asimis, such as Teo Premod Bissido Bissad Bhangi Porise. In English, he was insane with grief after breakup. Teo Mittu Dukhe Teo Bhangi Palaise. His death brought her down. Now, coming to Nirmal Prabha's poetry, uh, we can see that uh, I, like she wrote a poem where she mentioned in the first line, I saw him going away, which, he re which she referred to her deceased husband. Then uh, we can see the image of sun uh, or the sunset where, he, uh, where she refers to the old age or her husband leaving her alone during her old age. Through the foot lane amid the, foot, uh, amid the fields, foot lane refers to the path of heaven. While the fields refer to the earthly desires. Uh, next, she mentioned about japi. Japi uh, is the SMS word for hat. Uh, japi is the symbolic reference of honor. Uh, and such goes the poem. There are, uh, so now next coming to love is sacrifice. Uh, we can see that there are many words and phrases connected to love that uses the metaphor of sacrifice. We comprehend the abstract notion of love in terms of the conceptual metaphor love is sacrifice which manifests itself in linguistic expressions like I gave myself to him. Sacrifice is understood as a willingness to do something valuable and meaningful for others, giving up personal needs and necessities. Love does not seek for the personal benefits. It gives a willingness to the people to make the life of their beloved one's lacking of discomfort and problems. So the conceptual metaphor love is sacrifice, sacrifice is expressed in William Black's Claude and the Pable. The extract, uh, I have mentioned the extract here. Love seeketh not itself to please, nor for itself hath any care. But for another gives its ease and builds a heaven in hell's despair. So the extract here explains how love is about selflessness. Love is about giving yourself to someone, someone you love. Love is a positive force which can take the hell of despair and turn it into a joyous heaven for both the lover and the beloved. The conceptual metaphor love is sacrifice underlies in the ordinary language expressions and essays such as She took away his alone time. She went through all the obstacle, obstacles embracing her love. Uh, so, Nirmal Prabha Baudelaire's poetry, uh, Gandhari, uh, is another significant women-centric poem, poem. Gandhari is the embodiment of virtue, who embraced blindness, covering her eyes with a piece of cloth, thereby paying respect to her husband's blindness. In the Mahabharata epic, 
she is portrayed as a devout and loyal wife charming virtuous and faithful woman however despite being a mother of 100 sons gandhari was deprived of the bliss of motherhood as none of her has uh, none of her 100 sons obeyed her order the dignity that gandhari deserved as a mother her sons paid little heed to it therefore gandhari was not able to stand with pride in her motherhood gandhari's predicament as a mother is still prevalent and reciprocated among women in today's generation generation so we can see that gandhari was deprived of the love for her uh, for her, from her children and also she sacrificed her love for her beloved so here the her love is sacrifice uh, is uh, like is a apt uh, conception that for for the poetry now coming to love is a physical force so we know that intensity being one of the most significant feature of love enables us to use forces such as magnetism gravity and electricity while uh, talking about his powerful emotion in expressions like he was magnetically drawn to her we can see the conception that of love is a physical force physical forces such as gravity magnetism tension or basic applied forces have uh, physical effects on objects such effects include pushing pulling crushing lifting binding together and tearing uh, the things that are directed at in some certain circumstances these forces are immensely powerful in other words modest their power may their power may vary depending on different variables such as distance some forces such as gravity are stable and predictable while others like applied force may be volatile we can see the extension of this conception that for in emily dickinson's poem she used it in a novel okay sir she used it in a novel way while narrating her poem a be his uh, banished carriage so um, in asmis uh, ordinary expression we can see like pramod bor bhakor porile mad in love ekebare pramod dubi morise drowning in love nirmatuma bordale uses the extension of the same conception metaphor to reveal her physical art with brilliant blending of natural symbols like sky and flower uh, in her poem the occurrence of entering large blue sky on the budding flower automatically brings to our mind about the sequence of love making of two opposite sexes with a view to fulfill their desire in her poem definition of love she described lover lover sky who symbolically assaults a flower i'll just uh, like say few lines a uh, extract from the poem perhaps then enter the large blue sky or the budding flower collapses to the root the thunder enters proudly inside the vortex turns into ash the abode houses of thigh breast body so we can see the sky's interest in the flowers is exclusively sexual the situation portrayed emphasizes the male's power his active role as initiator of their union and pleasure while stationary female remains the passive recipient of his will the image of large blue sky entering the bubbling flower thunder entering the vortex deal with erotic desire employing the sky flower image uh, frequently to utter her physical longing in a largely allegorical mode the poet considered the influence of the male upon the female emphasized the power of physical attraction and expressed a mixture of fear and fascination for the mysterious magnetism between all sexes another poem kavita show the same conceptual metaphor so understanding the uh, target domain of love in terms of the source domain of uh, physical force would mean a set of consequences uh, which are given in the screen also uh, there are many other metaphors like uh, love is a drug and many more i just mentioned a few so this is a bibliography thank you